What's up, YouTube? It's Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we get into fashion, fragrance, as well as men's lifestyle and grooming. So if that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing to the channel. And also make sure that you go ahead and tap that bell icon as well. That way, when I upload new content on the platform of YouTube, you'll be notified. On today's video, I'm going to be jumping into my top 10 fragrances from the house of Frederick Mall. Now, one of the things that I love about fragrances from Frederick Mall is that you're going to be guaranteed to get a quality fragrance, quality ingredients, and fragrances, in my humble opinion, that are very creative. Now, Mr. Frederick Mall himself is not actually a perfumer, but what he does is he works as more of a perfume editor. So he works with some of the best perfumers in the world, gives them total creative freedom to come up with some very creative and again, unique fragrances. And they are fragrances that are very eclectic and unique and give most people the opportunity to find a fragrance that is going to fit their character and really speak to you as an individual. So on today, guys, again, I'm gonna be jumping into the top 10 fragrances from the house of Frederick Mall. So if you wanna see what made the list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. The Bow Tie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this list of my top 10 fragrances from the house of Frederick Mall. And coming in at the 10th spot is a fragrance done by a perfumer that I really love. I have a lot of respect for if you guys are not aware. Uh, this particular perfumer is uh, one of the perfumers that worked on my fragrance that I did with Novelty Parfums, which was Obad, now known as Lyric, and that is none other than Dominique Ropion. The fragrance that I'm talking about is uh, a fragrance. Well, I'll tell you about it. Let's show you first. It's called Geranium Pormasur. Geranium Pormasur. And what this fragrance is all about to me is the note of mint. Now, this fra fragrance has mint as well as geranium. So it is almost like a double dose of this minty freshness that you get in the opening of this fragrance. Now, I have read before uh, where some people compare uh, this fragrance, uh, the opening of it at least, to uh, smelling like toothpaste. And I can't, rem you know, remove that uh, imagery from my mind because I will, I do agree that it does smell a lot like toothpaste uh, in the opening of the fragrance. But it's m so much more than that. There's some depth and some complexity here to this fragrance, just like, of course, most of the fragrances that you're going to encounter are from the house of Frederick Mall. Again, some of the best perfumers in the world I uh, have teamed up with uh, Frederick Mall to produce these fragrances. And again, and one thing I would say about all of them, you can smell the, the creativity and the quality of these fragrances through and through. And um, at this point in my fragrance journey, that's something that I really, really value and appreciate, creativity and high quality ingredients. And that's definitely found in here. Now you're gonna get, in addition to that very clean minty freshness in the opening, you're going to get some anise in here. Uh, that gives this fragrance a lot of character, some cinnamon on the dry down, so a little bit of ambroxan. So again, very well done fragrance. Uh, but again, I have some ones on here that I like more than this, obviously, but this is a good one. So check this one out, guys. It comes in at the 10th spot. This is called Geranium Pour Mansour. So guys, really quickly, let me say this. Um, I want to send a shout out to my good friend, Blurta, uh, who works at uh, the Frederick Mall Boutique in New York. Now, when I was trying to order one of the fragrances on this list, um, I actually ran into some issues. I actually had to call the store and she was very, very helpful. Uh, we got into a conversation. Um, I ended up talking about you know, my YouTube channel and she actually happened to be a fan of the channel. Uh, so that's always a good thing. And just kind of talked about you know, the, some things I'm doing on the channel. And she also said that you know, she wanted me to leave her email address. So I'm gonna put the email address up on the screen. And I'll also leave it down in the description as well, as well 
So if you guys want to check out any fragrances from the House of Frederick Mall, this is not a sponsored video. I don't get a kickback or anything like that. But I did tell her that I wanted to, you know, refer you guys if you want to buy anything, any fragrances from Frederick Mall, you guys can can hit her up because she's going to give you guys like a little free gift just for being a subscriber to my channel. So I thought that that was amazing. So I'm going to leave Blurt's information uh, here on the screen as well as down in the description. If you want to uh, email her, if you have anything, any questions about the brand, or again, if you just want to try to, uh, of course, purchase anything, uh, she'll be more than happy to assist you with your purchase. All right, guys. So the next fragrance um, on the list uh, coming in at the ninth spot. If it were for just grading this on scent alone, this pr fragrance probably will be in my top three because it smells that good. I'm gonna talk about in a moment why it comes in at the ninth spot, but I love the way this stuff smells, and this one is called Outrageous. Outrageous. Now, this one was done by Sonia Grossman, and uh, this particular scent is uh, a citrus-based fragrance. That's the best way for me to describe it. It opens up, it has green apple in here. Uh, there's some grapefruit in this as well, so it's very, very fruity, very citrusy, I think there's an or mandarin orange note in this as well, which is actually the primary note that I get in this. You get a great burst of citruses in the opening of this scent. And then when it dries down, it's very, this is a very clean fragrance. There's some neroli here, some orange blossom, a very clean musk as well as aldehydes. And you guys know I love aldehydes. It gives that soapy, clean vibe to fragrances and you get that all throughout this scent. Now. Based on scent alone, this will be in my top three, but I will tell you guys that the performance on this one is very, very bad. It's very bad. So I couldn't in good faith put this higher on the list because I know it's one thing for a fragrance to give you five to six hours, maybe four, and some people say, ah, it's not the best performance, but this fragrance only gives me about two to three hours. And for what you're gonna pay for it, I do understand that's not the best proposition. But man, for that two or three hours that you get out of this, this stuff, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Very uplifting scent. It smells phenomenal, but once again, the, it, it does have and suffer in the uh, performance category, but it still smells amazing. And that's why I send my top 10, because it smells that good. Uh, so again, guys, if that's your thing, if you don't mind the issue with performance, if you're just going off scent DNA alone, I am sure you would love this one. Uh, it's in the ninth spot, and again, this one is called Outrageous. All right, guys, now coming in at the eighth spot, this fragrance right here doesn't get a lot of talk, but it's really, really good. And this one was done by Michelle Rodniska, and this one is called Noir A Piece. Noir A Piece from the house of Frederick Mall. And this one right here, guys, is gonna open up, you're gonna get a blast of this orange note. So again, fruity orange, but it's combined with a, a very green accord that runs right in, a co in combination uh, with the orange note in the opening, and that's coming from geranium, and there's a slight rosy nuance here as well. Now, it lists rose, but you know, geranium can kind of give like a green rosy nuance as well, so it has rose as well as geranium, so you get this again, this kind of green, slightly rosy nuance in the opening with a blast of orange. But what this fragrance is really about is the spices. It's the spices in this fragrance, and that's what this fragrance really is all about. Uh, you get some nutmeg in here. Uh, you also get some cloves, some pepper, some cinnamon in this one as well. And it rounds out with patchouli and vanilla primarily to my nose. So again, if you like fragrances that are green and spicy, then this is one that you will love. It smells absolutely fantastic, and the performance on this one is above average at about that seven to eight hour mark. Very well done fragrance. This is a fragrance for a guy that loves more of a green, gentlemanly kind of scent. So check this one out. Again, this one is called Noir A Piece. All right, guys, so coming in at the seventh spot on this list, this fragrance was done by Edouard Flechier, and this one is called Lee's Mediterranean. Lee's Mediterranean. Now, this one is coming in at the seventh spot because for me, as great as this one smells, this one I would say leans a tad bit more on the feminine side. But again, you guys know I don't mind that when you're wearing a suit, a shirt, and a tie, that offsets 
fragrances that may lean a little bit more on the feminine side, but this is just uh, an amazing, beautiful, gorgeous fragrance that features the note of lily. Now, again, I will tell you guys, nine times out of 10, the note of a lily can really, you know, cause a fragrance to lean a little bit more on that side. But at the end of the day, this thing smells absolutely phenomenal. Uh, florals dominate this fragrance. A lily, a lotus flower. I think you may have some orange blossom in this one as well. Uh, and it really what this kind of evokes the uh, in your mind, you imagine like a flower or floral petals of lily petals, loudest petals floating on the bluest, most clear, serene body of water. And that's kind of sort of what this fragrance really evokes in my mind. It is very, very, uh, very well done. Uh, the florals here are very, very photorealistic. And I do love this fragrance. I have some great scent memories that are attached with this one uh, from my wife's birthday. Uh, when I first got this fragrance, we actually went to, um, out of town for her birthday um, and we I took this fragrance with me on that trip and I wore it a lot on that uh, during that weekend it's just again great scent memory attached to this one smells phenomenal and again could have been higher on the list if it had not been more for the floral nature of it you know I wear some of the other ones uh, a little bit more on this list so but again nonetheless a great fragrance so check this one out guys this one is called Lee's Mediterranean all right, so coming in at the sixth spot on this list, this is one of the most slept on Frederick Mall fragrances to me. This one was done by Pierre Bardon, and this one is called Irish Poudre. Irish Poudre. And as the name indicates, this primarily is Iris, Lily, and you have aldehydes in this as well. So, again, you guys know I love aldehydes. It gives this very fresh, clean, kind of soapy quality to fragrances, and you get a heavy dose of that here along with that powdery nature of iris now there's a host of floral notes in this lily primarily lily and jasmine and uh also pick up a pretty good dose of yangalang in this fragrance as well so you're going to get some florals there but this fragrance right here is hundred percent unisex male or female could pull this scent off but i love it because in addition to that powdery vibe that you get from the iris you get a nice clean dose of aldehydes and some vanilla as it starts to dry down. Love this stuff. Again, to me, one of the most slept on, not talked about fragrances from this house. But if you like iris, if you like aldehydes, then you'll probably love this one. So check it out. This one is called Iris Poudre. All right, guys, now coming in at the fifth spot, we're jumping into the top five here. One of the fragrances that of some of the latest releases, I would say, from this particular fragrance brand that I found and took a liking to. Uh, now, although I have 10 that's featured on this list, I have smelled a lot of their fragrances, whether it be through samples or whether it be just going into uh, various stores and actually putting my nose on these fragrances. And some of the more recent ones, um, comparatively speaking to the ones I have on this list, I wasn't as much of a fan of. But this one was released over the within the last four years, and this is one that did. The only fragrance that I don't have featured on this list that probably would have been featured on this list if I could have got my hands on it was Dries Van Noten. And that particular fragrance has been discontinued. It's very hard to get, but it kind of has a, the notes and the genetic makeup that I like typically in fragrances. So with that being said, this one again, of the more recent releases, one that I really liked, and this one was done by Carlos Benaim, and this one is called Music For A While. Music For A While, this was somewhat of a strange fragrance to a degree, and it did receive mixed uh, reviews when it came out, because it has, it features lavender, pineapple, and on the dry down, you have these host of kind of gourmand notes, uh, caramel, sugar, and so it, it again it's when you kind of trying to envision these notes all kind of mashed together for some people they couldn't really grasp the concept of this fragrance but again if you think about it that's one of the things that me personally i love about fragrances from this particular brand because again he gives these perfumers totally total creative control just to come up with something very creative and this is very creative me being of somebody that really loves gourmand 
type fragrances. I like it. It's unique. There's nothing that I've ever smelled that smells like this scent because you have that kind of soothing, you know, uh, kind of freshness that normally it comes from lavender with the fruitiness of pineapple. So you have that going on and then it dries down to, like I said, more of a gourmand kind of scent. And somehow, some way, for me, it all comes together and it works. So that's why it's in the fifth spot for me. Smells great. It's a more of a gourmand type fragrance. Uh, very, very creative. And that's why I, I, of course, put it at the fifth spot. I love the name as well. So in the fifth spot, again, this one is called Music for a While. All right, guys, now coming in at the fourth spot on this list, this is a classic uh, done uh, once again by one of my favorite perfumers, Mr. Ropion himself, and this one is called Carnal Flower. Carnal Flower. Now, of course, I know there are some guys that won't go anywhere near a fragrance like this because it features the note of tuberose. I was surprised myself when I got my nose on this because for a while, I couldn't stand that note. Tuberose to me seemed to be <clears throat> the one fragrance note that you could not, regardless of what you put in it, make it masculine enough for a guy to wear. And then I found Carnal Flower from the House of Frederick Mall. And this one really changed my mind about the note of Tuberose. Just like when I found uh, Lyric Man from I'm Wise. I wasn't the biggest fan of Rose uh, originally, and then I found uh, Lyric Man, and I'm like, wow. So rose can be done in a manner in which guys can really wear it. And again, that's what happened with tuberose when I found this one right here. So quite naturally, tuberose being the primary note, definitely unisex could, in some people's mind, lean a little bit more feminine. But you also have uh, eucalyptus in here that gives this almost euphoric kind of minty freshness to the scent, as well as coconut. And you guys know I love the note of coconut. So all together, it really just works, man. When it dries down, you're gonna get a nice kick from musk. And that, to me, helps the fragrance and prevents it from being too feminine for a guy to wear. But man, you talk about something that's masterfully done. This should be in the dictionary by those words. So check it out. Guys, you can pull this off. Trust me, this one is called Carnal Flower. All right, guys, I'm coming in at the third spot on this list. I've talked about this fragrance a lot on this channel for great reason. This is another one done by Pierre Bardon, and this one is called French Lover. French Lover. This can be summed up with three words. Green, spices, woods. Green, spices, woods. That's exactly what you get in this fragrance. It's a very masculine scent. Uh, could I see a woman pulling this off? I guess, but to me, this is really, really more of a masculine kind of fragrance. Uh, you have galbanum in here, you have spices, you have oak moss, you have vetiver. Primarily, you get some cedar wood, angelica uh, in this as well, and a little bit of incense. So again, greens, spices, and woods. That's why, of course, it smells very similar to me to Creed's Spice and Wood, which features the same kind of accords in that fragrance. So check this one out, guys. One of my favorites from the brand, obviously, it's in the third spot. This one is called French Lover. All right, guys, and coming in at the number two spot on my top 10 fragrances from the house of Frederick Mall. You guys know what this is, man. This one was done by Maurice Roussel, and this one is called Musk Ravageur. Musk Ravageur, this is Cinnabons in a bottle. Now, again, I don't remember exactly what year this formulation was from, but I told you guys I have a smaller 50 ml uh, size bottle of this stuff and it was more potent. But in this case, I don't mind this being a little bit less potent because what they did to my nose is they toned down the clothes. For, people, for some people, clothes was the note that made this fragrance a little bit more challenging to wear. Um, but again, they kind of toned that down. Uh, in this bottle that I have right here. And this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. Um, the name and the term masterpiece, I think is appropriate uh, for this fragrance because it just is what it is. That's what this fragrance is. It's nothing short of a masterpiece. Cinnamon, cloves, musk, vanilla, sandalwood to kind of round it out and give it that, of course, that creaminess that you like uh, in a scent like this. This stuff is just phenomenal. Is this going to be for everybody? No, but 
I think most people that appreciate fine perfumery will actually really love and appreciate this fragrance. It's, under, it's in the number two spot for me for a reason because it's that good. So check this one out, guys. Again, this one is called Musk Ravageur. All right, guys, I hate to be anti-climactic, but you already know what the number one spot is on this list. Another one by Mr. Dominique Ropion. Portrait of a lady. Portrait of a lady. Now, you guys do understand I have changed the name of this fragrance. It is Portrait of a Man because it is very representative of me and, oh man, and what I love to smell in a fragrance. It features the note of rose primarily. You get rose, you get cloves, there's some raspberry in this. Uh, patchouli, of course, as it dries down. Uh, a little bit of a musk as well. This stuff is just, this is a phenomenal fragrance. It's a phenomenal fragrance. Um, anytime I talk about this, I just have to mention the fact that of all the fragrances in my collection, the most compliments I've ever received in one day came from this fragrance. It just works on my skin. And that's why it is in the number one spot. Another one from this collection that is nothing short of a masterpiece. Of course, this one is called Portrait of a Man. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it, man. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed uh, this list today as I gave you my top 10 fragrances from the brand of Frederick Mall. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos because you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that can use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.